if you look at my first collection, it's everyone was like, you know, it's very uh, Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent is like an influence and all that stuff. But the fabrics that I chose, the dress that Demi Moore wore and Rachel Weisz wore, it was uh, traditional, based on traditional Newari, like sari. And not many people, it wasn't obvious. So that's the kind of inspiration that I like today. It's like something that is not obvious. It's very nuanced, you know. One of my favorite things to do was like, you know, watch people like in the, draping their saris, like they're putting on the whole like process. It's a very beautiful ritual, almost like a celebration of being a woman. And that I've always found it fascinating. Like, you know, there were strong women, like my sister and my mother. But then I've also have other girlfriends, like, you know, who are, very strong, you know, and people I work with in my company are equally strong-minded women and uh, extremely layered. Right now in Asia, like we're selling in Japan, um, I definitely want to get into India, China, um, you know, Singapore, um, Korea. Like so, I definitely want to because you know Asia is getting stronger day by day, and uh, it would be absolutely foolish and stupid for me to not even explore that, especially coming from my background. You know, so I'm definitely interested in, and I keep in touch with all of them, even in India. Yeah. How has India influenced your designs? A lot, actually. I always tell my friends who haven't been to India, it's like if you haven't been to India, it's part of your brain's not working because the colors, the smell, the sound, the way they celebrate life is intense. You, some people can handle it, some people can't. I could handle it and I really re relished it. And you know, having worked with a designer like Manish Arora, uh, who was so gutsy, and the Indian women and the music and the colors, like so brave and so strong, um, it kind of gave me the courage to really go for it you know and you know the person that i am today like besides nepal it's india also you know and I'm, i do want to like make sure that they know that you know? what were your hobbies growing up uh, dancing yeah a lot singing and um I, as i said earlier like i was like full-on bollywood buffs so i was like you know i love dancing it was and i still do we actually like on my press people they're like we're reaching out to few people and we were approached by a Bollywood actress for her new coming, uh, upcoming movie, but we just wanted to make sure the first foray into Bollywood was the right person. The way I dress in Hollywood is a certain kind of celebrities, and I just want to maintain that, you know, because they become the brand ambassadors. And you know, in Nepal too, like if there's a, a good celebrity with like you know enough amount of uh, who carries enough amount of responsibility on her shoulders, in her behavior and how she acts and the kind of movies that her choices rather. Definitely, I'd be interested. You know, so. What do you think Nepal's greatest strength is? Um, Nepalese people have this quiet strength that, um, in spite of all the adversities, whether it's like in the economy or the, the way the political situation is right now, to you know, it's a third world country. Let's face it, and in spite of it, there's always a smile. I feel. Tell me about the moment when you first heard Michelle Obama was wearing your dress. I was in Paris <clears throat> and uh, for Fashion Paris Fashion Week, and it was incredible. It was, and I, <clears throat> this was something that I had talked to my mother about. Like you know, the, my when I first my first uh, dress was worn by Demi Moore and Zoe Saldana and all these actresses, and my mom was like happy and like you know, oh great, good for you. What's next? And she was like, let's talk when Michelle Obama, you know, wears it. And uh, when it happened, I called my mom and I was like, let's talk, you know. <laughs> and so she was really thrilled. She was really happy. I always say a beautiful woman is a beautiful woman, but a beautiful woman with brain is a lethal combination because I'm a firm believer that uh, if there are more women in power, the world would be a better place. There's no denying that.